Even if she will wear wings, I, if my friend, if of all the candidates, is the one I prefer, I tell him all the time. But there's no president that can save Nigeria. Mm. Only the people of Nigeria can save this country. Mm. Even if Peter Obi is the uh, internet favorite, even if he wins, Peter Obi. Which is not surrounded by the internet, <laughs> internet, the president, internet, internet president. <laughs> no, let, let's, be, let's be factual on that, you know, because the issue of that is not because it's not because of the way Nigerian politics is. He hasn't had the time because he started too late. You can't yeah, tell me that okay. just because you lost PDP primaries say, in 18 months to the election, you suddenly start a movement to and you have a real plan for the country. No, that's opportunist, that's opportunism, you know. That opportunism, you know, and there, there is no, it's not an opportunist that will deliver Nigeria. It will be a dedicated individual that has looked at this country, that has dedicated his life. The person will have gone to every local government, the person will have his own structure, not jumping on Labour Party. Labour Party is a socialist structure. Uh, Peter Obi is a capitalist. Exactly. Where are they going? Where are they going? Mobe. <laughs> Mobe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even who wins, wins, <laughs> who is my friend, who is a very good friend. How is he going to operate in t- PDP and APC controlled states, PDP and APC controlled um, Senate and House of Reps? How is he going to run this country to the way that we feel that he should run it for the betterment of the of the majority of the people? The video you just watched was uh, Shion Kuti at uh, Shion Walking Baloye's uh, podcast. She Kimbalo works with Channels TV. Shion Kuti is from the Fellas Fellas son. So first of all, Shion Kuti made an allegation that was very untrue. He said Peter Obi lost PDP primaries. That was why he went to Libo. Peter Obi never contested in the PDP primaries. He said if PDP decided to zone the presidency the presidency to southeast it would contest but PDP did not zone the presidency to southeast and again he discovered that the presidency um, the, the the PDP presidential primaries was going to be a game of the best the highest bidder so he said no he would rather lose doing the right thing than win doing the wrong thing then he, he made an allegation he said um, no no person can change no president can change nigeria it is the people that will change nigeria what is that what 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 is that sentence about how are the people going to change nigeria this is the question i want to ask whether we like it or not whether we like the government or not there will always be an election every four four years there will always be an election every four four years and a president must emerge. 2023 is no different. There is going to be a presidential election and a president must emerge. And we have three candidates. We have two criminals and one man who has shown to be honest. And I said, if you, if you can see any corrupt cases on me, if you can see any if, if you can see that anywhere I've stolen the money of my state that, that was given to me, go and report me to the FCC. I'll stop campaigning. Nobody has come forward to say anything. So you're not trying to make... Shonkusi is just trying to be clever by, by half because you're trying to make the whole problem of Nigeria look so cumbersome and so big that nobody can solve the problem this is just what he's trying to paint that nigeria's problem is so big that nobody can solve the issue they even say it is the people that are going to solve it so how how are the people going to solve the problem if they don't participate in the election do you want us to do you want anarchy do you want people like what happened in the u.s the the january um, insurrection that happened in the u.s or what happened in brazil where where citizens went to topple the government, they entered the government house and they were destroying properties. They can never so we, we can't gain anything through that. We we either gain freedom through the ballots or through gun. And there has never been a true freedom through gun or battle. Look at what is happening in South Sudan till today there's no peace. Look at what is happening in Libya till today there's no peace. 
Afghanistan, there's still no peace till now. So is it that you go to the po to the polls, vote for the credible cri candidate, and take the government away from the old guards? So if you are talking about Shawore, Shawore has never held any position before. There has never been a local government chairman, and just wants to become the president. Just the campaign funds in which they gave Shawore in 2019, you couldn't even account for them. He didn't even do a breakdown or release. He was even transparent about the campaign funds in which he got in 2019. This is the man you want us to hand over a country to because he insults every leader, he insults everybody. Fine, Nigerian leaders, they might have not been the best of the best, but not all of them have unrepresented fault because they work with people too. Fine, if it will be wins also, he might actually have problem of quality people in government because not everybody in his government will be truthful. But the fact remains that out of the four presidential candidates, uh, out of the three presidential leading presidential candidates we have, Peter Obi is the best of these three. And Sean Kuti was just trying to be clever by half that he left the other two criminals, Atiku and Tinubu, and he was insulting only Obi. And I, don't, I, I just think all these um, activists and people that just feel they are too smart, they are the best, they fight, they, they are the only ones that want the best for the country, they are the only ones that can give us solutions to the problems of the country. I think the advice, the advice is not needed. They should just keep the advice. I'm very sure Shankusi is never going to vote on election day. So I don't know what he's saying. If you are not going to vote, if you are not going to participate, in the electoral process if you don't believe in the electoral process then leave people who believe in it to do what they believe in not going there to dampen people's morale and make it feel as if nigeria's problem is so big that even when even if jesus comes down it won't get solved so when you are saying the people should go and solve the problem how do you want the people to solve it they should topple the government or everybody should enter senate building and go and, and go and make laws no we have to start somewhere and we have to be politically um, at a lot. You have to be politically at a lot, and we have to now starting from because 2023 is gone already. Starting from 2027, you have to now look at every key positions: our senatorial districts, our sovereign members, our governors, our local government chairman. We now have to look into it critically. Look into all these things critically and make sure that we. May, elects the right people in positions what is it all our election has always been between the two between two devils and we have always voted for the lesser devil we never had it since 1999 that we have three candidates on the ballot we've always had two to choose from pick the lesser devil between the two um, candidates but now we're having three candidates so why should you tell us that uh we don't the people this just sing gibberish well if he's under influence which i don't believe in that's just how he talks i just wish he he, he just he just when if he doesn't have anything positive to say she just keep quiet and let people vote their conscience and vote for whoever they want thank you bye for now